Hey guys, welcome back. Today I'm going to be showing you my summer garden. A lot of the stuff's doing well and then some of it's dying because it's way too hot, but I'm going to take you around and show you what I do have still and what's producing. So let's get to it. Okay guys, so my garden, there's no rhyme or reason to it. It's just hodgepodge wherever I put it. Uh, but I did make sure that I had things that could go next to each other. So right I have amaranth, which I use as a trap plant, and you guys can see how it's eaten through, but you can see the squash bug right here, the cucumber beetles like this too, they eat this instead of my plants. So I planted, these actually came up, and there's one back there, and I planted one over there, and then one in my far part of my garden. Um, I wanted to plant more, but these just came up by themselves, and then I didn't get to it, but you can see how good they do. But here is my tomatoes, some of my tomatoes. Sorry the uh, cicadas are wanting to scream really loud right now. See them all clustered under here? This whole row all the way over is tomatoes, mixed tomatoes. And in the front I have marigolds. These are, this is calendula, which is a pot marigold. And all this that fell down, I don't know if it's going to make it, was spinach. And I was trying to save it for its seeds, but it's not looking too hot. And then I have basil. That smells amazing. More basil. And then these black-eyed Susans popped up by themselves. And then I had some other flowers here that died. They're not looking that hot. Back here I have a pumpkin. I don't remember planting. I don't know where it came from, but I'll take it. See? And this one has one right there, and then I have one right there. Uh, got three pumpkins on it already it's probably all I'm gonna get because pumpkins do not do well for me now here's my squashes this whole bed is squash I have patty pan squash I have like three different types of zucchinis and three different types of just regular yellow squash and most of my stuff is doing good still but a lot of my squashes and zucchinis are going down so I did another round of planting remember if you have a long season you can do another round of planting okay but this they're starting to get attacked by vine borers you can see the patty pan right here but this whole bed I mean it's this bed's humongous I don't even remember how many plants I have in here. A lot. And here's big old squash. I'll show you how big it is later. Let's go up here. Now I have in this bed, it looks crazy. I have the calendula or calendula, however you want to say it. Doesn't matter to me. And I have some dill in here that I've been harvesting off of because I've been making pickles. Okay. I put three different things in here. I put butternut, acorn squash, and spaghetti squash. And you can see all the spaghetti squashes hanging off. And I think I got a couple down in here. Okay. Let's see what we got in here. Oh, yeah. There's a butternut. See it? And there's an acorn right back there. So this is starting to die because it's getting attacked viciously <laughs> and relentlessly by the vine borers. But you can see I just used my fence as a trellis. It's actually going up into my Leland. I'm going to have to pull it out. But this has done well for me this year. I have a lot of spaghetti squash on the back side of this, which is great. And then this whole thing right here is beans. I've planted three different types of beans. You can see... These are all bush. These are bush beans. I don't really like pole that much because I don't have room for it. Otherwise, I would love it. But these are bush beans. I planted flowers. 
in the ground right here. And then I have, this is a cucamelon, but I need to have something for it to trellis on because it's struggling, it's going all over the place. I had my garlic, if you remember, my garlic was in this bed and this bed and that bed. So I started planting stuff right afterwards. I gave it feed and I put onions in here and this whole set of onions died. I have no idea why. I, I don't know. But these onions and leeks are doing great. And then I put more beans and basil right through here. And then I had, this is like a hodgepodge bed, okay? I don't know what happened. I just had a bunch of leftover stuff. So I just started throwing it in this bed. But I have peppers, like three different peppers. I have a bunch of basil. I have three tomatoes. So this is what these look like. And these are supposed to turn yellow. These are yellow, and this is like a Frankenstein. This is a Frankenstein one. I've never seen it do this before with all the fruit. You see all the flowers on it with no leaves. That back one's the exact same one, and look at it. Look how big it is. It's got fruit splitting because we've had really weird temperatures. But I'm going to let it go anyways because I want to see. Like all of my nasturtium is dying because it's so hot. Like, literally, we haven't been out of the 90s for two weeks. And it's just been relentless with no rain. But, uh, again, I planted uh, dill throughout it. So, this is just my hodgepodge bed, which is great because it gives me stuff whenever I need it. And this looked better the other day. Okay? I promise. It looked better. This is two different types of squashes okay one is a blue hubbard and then one i cannot remember it's some type of japanese one they use for certain dishes it's this one right here they're beautiful i'm definitely going to grow these again uh, next year but i did not do blue hubbard last year i did it the year before but i didn't do it last year but look how big it is you see how big that sucker is this thing is absolutely massive and you can use these in soups and other things, so good. It's delicious. Okay. And these are being viciously attacked by the vine borers too. Which stinks because this happens every year to me no matter how many vine borers I kill. And it makes me sad. But it's okay. And then I have lemon balm back here that's getting ready to flower. This is my asparagus that uh, shot up when I wasn't here, so I wasn't able to harvest it. So, but it's okay, I'll leave it there for another year. All right, guys, I wanna show you this really huge monster <laughs> Durrani squash that I let, I let go. Saving it for seed. Look how big this thing is. It's like, as big as my basket. <laughs> this is a big basket. Saving that baby for seeds. And then I have another tomato bed. Okay, look at these. I have no clue what type this is. I don't remember planting these. I've looked through all my seeds. I can't figure it out. So it's surprise tomato. Okay. I got them everywhere. Okay. I mean, you can see the tomatoes back there. I'm getting a great harvest this year and I've been weaving them every time I walk past, but I have been trimming my heart out and they can, they're growing faster than I can trim. I'd have to trim every single day. To keep up with it and I mean look at this I'm gonna have so many cherry tomatoes this year which is great we love cherry tomatoes look at those look how pretty those are this is my part of my artisan bumblebee blend that I got from botanical interest seeds I, I love that brand it's so good it does good every year and I, they're gonna be beautiful I'm super excited but I just I have so there's so many it's ridiculous. And I have been tr trimming, trimming, trimming. 
Look how big. It's getting bit, bigger than my cattle panel. These are really tall. Then I have sweet potatoes, the vines that are trying to come out. I've been trying to weave them up this trellis this year so it doesn't go out on the ground. Last year I could not see anything. You see, and I got, remember, companion plant. I put dill and nasturtium and a marigolds in the beds with my tomatoes and stuff. Look at these. This is doing great. They're all hidden. <laughs> and oh man, when they start turning, they're all going to turn at once, and I'm going to have a bazillion tomatoes, which is okay because I love I love tomatoes. In this bed I'm going, I didn't put anything else in here. I harvested my onions and see the weeds are starting to come up. I'm about to rip all this out and redo this bed. But I left it for the seeds. See the seeds, the lettuce seeds? And then this beautiful nasturtium. I mean, it's, this is gorgeous. I love it. And then my bush cherries are giving me a bunch of beautiful fruit right now. They were the first ones to give me anything off of my tomato plants. And look, I have another, another amaranth. This is a brown one. It's called Hot Biscuits. That, that went in there. And then I have peppers. And I also have uh, basil mixed in, which is, I'm kind of sad because I had a hard time with my jalapenos this year. I've, I've never had this hard of a time. I could barely get the jalapenos to germinate. But... I went to the store and I got jalapenos from the store. Does that look like a jalapeno? No, these are not jalapenos. Someone switched the tags and I got banana peppers, which I'm super sad about because I needed jalapenos for my salsa and a bunch of other stuff. And that's just not working out now. See, basil's all through here. Lettuce that's bolting. It's way too hot. Way too hot. It's been relentless. And then I have flowers. Remember, mixing the flowers in with your stuff. Look at this. This is an eggplant. I planted two of these. They both came up, but it was a long time ago, and they never did anything. And then all of a sudden, bam, there they were. Which, I'll take it. Bell peppers. This is a bell pepper. Oh no. Oh no, this is so bad. Look, these are supposed to be bell peppers. Oh no. This is my life this year. I'm getting a ton of not bell peppers and not jalapenos. You can see all the bell peppers in there. Oh my goodness, I'm so sad. Does anybody want banana peppers? <laughs> These whole this whole row is supposed to be bell peppers. But that's not working out like I thought it would, so we'll see. But more basil. Remember your basil, you can pop the heads off where it's starting to want to flower. Pop them off, make it, force it to give you more and start blooming from the bottom so you can get more stuff. Here's another bush cherry. Starting to give me even more. Sorry I'm hectic guys. It's just late and I'm trying to show you all the good stuff. And here's my pomegranate. I've had for three years. Past two years it has died back to the ground. It's supposed to be a hardy pomegranate. So I don't know what it's doing. I don't know if they mislabeled this one either. So we will see. Just more flowers. I planted another fig right next to my other two figs. And then this whole thing is cucumbers. And then, I, of course, more basil. I've planted basil everywhere. It smells amazing and it keeps the bugs away. And uh, marigolds. These ones I just did. Oh, I think I see one. Let me see if I can get in there. Oh, yeah, we got lots of them. See? This one right here. It's one of my family favorites. Uh, my mom actually gave me the seeds for this this year because I couldn't find them. These are called Blonde Booth Bees. They're wonderful uh, for fresh eating. They're great. I use them to make pickles also. So 
but yeah, you can see cucumbers. Oh, here's some more blondes. Oops, ripped too much of that off. That's okay. But, oh, they're doing great. See, I'm starting to get a ton. I've made so many pickles already, it's ridiculous. But I'm glad, because last year I struggled to get any cucumbers whatsoever. Now I have picklers in here too, see? You can tell, this is a different kind than this one. This is a slicing cucumber. This is a pickling cucumber, so they're not the same. And then I also have another one in here. Oh my goodness, that pickling needs to come off. He's way too big. Look at that. When they start getting the white and yellow ribs, that means they're too big if it's a pickling. Let's see, what have we got in here? I had another kind in here, and it's called a soil long, but I think I took them all off. Uh, Soyo, S-U-Y-O, amazing. Try those cucumbers. Look up, look up the seeds. Buy them. They're they're totally worth it. Get attacked by bugs and bees. But I have to come out and I have to harvest tomorrow because there's too many things. Got too many cucumbers on there. See, and then. In this front bed, more nasturtium. I have boards. Now, I have boards throughout the garden. I didn't show you it earlier, but I have a bunch of boards. Borge is, borge is great to plant. The bees love it, okay? Love it. Absolutely and love it. Right here, I have some ground cherries that just popped up out of nowhere. And this is beautiful. It's a beautiful flower, okay? Do you see this? There's no filter on this. This is pure purple. Okay, this is called sea holly. Um, it's actually very beautiful, and I will definitely plant this again. But I put these seeds in the ground last year. It overwintered. They popped up, and they're gorgeous. I mean, this color is just amazing. Look at this. That purple. Straight down. That's what they look like before they turn purple. Not really that great but the leaves turn purple oh look there's a bee on it still they they love it, it and it they're just gorgeous and you can use them for cut flowers too and then i have more tomatoes this whole front row let me see if i can zoom out yeah tomatoes this whole front row they're all hiding in there remember i try to leave stuff to cover my tomatoes Remember, I check my tomatoes, and then I feed them often so they don't get the blossom and rot. And people say it's a lack of calcium. It's not a lack of calcium. You need to check your um, soil, and you need to feed it. Most people say, oh, it's just a lack of calcium. Put Tums in there. Don't do that. Just feed it organic tomato food, and it will get everything it needs. Look at this cluster. That's a lot of tomatoes in one spot. But on the rim, I also have dill over there, a big patch of dill, more marigolds, and more marigolds down here. And then I have lettuce and some more nasturtium. And I had a, I don't know what happened. It like rotted out. There was another borage right here. Something happened to it. Look at these beauties. Look how big they are. They're, they're big. But I also have lettuce in here and another volunteer that's um a ground cherry let's see what we got in here oh, hello beauties let's see they're all hiding oh that one looks like it's turning color nope sun playing tricks on my eyes see same thing basil uh, uh, calendula, dill, marigolds. I promise it's worth it, okay? It's, it helps your garden. Especially plant um, amaranth. Amaranth is amazing in your garden. And I don't know why more people don't, they don't plant it. 
But, I mean, that's basically it. I have a ton of tomatoes. All my squash get attacked, even though they were beautiful. Oh, I have another section above my greenhouse. I'll go show you that. And I forgot to tell you, I had potatoes in this bed right here, and I ripped them all out, and I got to get all the, you can see all of the tops and everything. But there was potatoes in here, and I harvested them. They are curing in my garage right now. And sorry my garden's crazy, guys, but that's just how it is. There's no such thing as a perfect garden, or else you just, that's all you, your time goes to. It's time consuming. So these are this one, this one, and this one. They are all hardy kiwis. And they were all planted at the same time. This one has just done amazing. It has just took off. I had fruit on it this year. I saw all the flowers. I had hundreds of flowers and beautiful fruit and then the birds ate them all. So I have to figure out some way next year to hide my babies because I won't get anything. And then my kids have been coming through here, which that's what it's for. And they're taking off all of the raspberries and eating them, which is fine by me. And then all my blackberries. This one's ready, the rest are not. Last year this gave me so many blackberries and I'm so excited it's doing a good job again this year to give me a ton of fruit. Now in here I just threw a bunch of flowers and you can see that there's, I mean there's so many different things in here I couldn't tell you. I can only list a few like nasturtium, I have, these are Cosmos. I have some zinnias in here. I think I have some coxcomb in here. Some more um, calendula. There's some zinnias right here. So I'm trying to attract pollinators. Oh, I don't know what this is. It bloomed though. It fell over, but it bloomed. Hmm, I don't know. I'm hoping some of these right here are milkweed. Because I did plant all the milkweed seeds because Tennessee has a program where you can request seeds for next year. You plant them in the fall to winter here and they will send you free milkweed seeds for the butterflies. And so I have a cucumelon right here. That's doing great. It's trellising up. These are all my strawberries. Remember, every year I get dill in my strawberries. Don't know how, but it works. I'm happy about it. Watermelon. Don't know if I'm going to get anything. Look, now I, this was doing good. This was doing great until a day ago. And you can see I have cantaloupe on it. And now it looks like it's dying because it's being attacked by vine borers. They are my, my enemy. I have tried everything. I've tried every trick that everybody's ever said. Oh, try this trick. It will work. No, they don't work. Like my mom can plant a million squashes and anything in the squash family. A million pumpkins and never have a vine borer all year. And then I get a million vine borers. Look at that. Look how beautiful that sage is. And then I have all my plants, my lemon, lime, all my citruses, okay? And then I just threw a bunch of flower seeds over here this year. And then I got a ton of flowers to pop up. And then I also have candy roasters in here. See? I got a couple of them. And I have one right over there. But these were all poppies, poppy seeds. I'm trying. I can hear it shaking. You probably can't hear it, but I'm going to try to harvest some of these seeds. Oh my goodness, it's going out. You got to come back in here, dude. You can't go out that way. But. I have nothing in my greenhouse. I don't grow anything in there during the summer. It's way too hot. Roasting us to death every day. I would kill it. 
there's no way it'd make it. But my main garden and this, all of my berries, and then this whole side is all I have. Ooh, it's hot out here and humid. <laughs> it's really humid. But I hope you enjoyed my garden. I know it was just a quick run through, but I wanted to show you what I have and how I my setup is. It's not perfect, and I don't want a perfect garden. I want a good garden. And you can tell in the garden over there and over here that I use wood chips to keep down on the weeds. Now on this side where I'm at, the weeds have got out of control and we've been ripping them out of the ground, but it happens that way sometimes. I don't know why, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it inspires you for your own garden, either for next year or plant a fall garden for fall crops, which I'm going to be doing, starting my seeds, I think in late August to September is when I'm supposed to start mine based on my zone but you guys can start yours and you can put in what you want to eat and try something new I tried a lot of new stuff this year I'm excited if it's great if it's great I'm gonna plant definitely plant it again if not I know I don't like it and I won't plant it again but you never know until you try so and I'll see you guys next time